Welcome to our five on five. We're pleased to welcome back in Medford Police Chief Randy Sparacino. Chief, good to see you. Always nice to see you. Thanks for being here. So nine months since you stepped in the role as chief. Yes. What's your biggest takeaway in that time? Uh, we got a lot accomplished. We did a lot in the last, uh, well, it's, a, it's been almost a year since interim, nine months since I actually got the appointment in March, but we implemented body-worn cameras. We moved into our new police facility. We reorganized our staff for greater efficiency. Uh, we implemented coffee with a cop. We had our first mm -hmm. Latino uh, Citizens Academy. Um, we uh, we have a ton of community support. It's been a fantastic mm -hmm. nine months. Yeah, and you've had a lot of change. You've had a few retirements, a lot of promotions as a result. How, how's that going? It's gone great. We actually had uh, we've had eight promotions since I uh, wow. since I started. So a deputy chief, two lieutenants, and multiple sergeants. It, it's been really exciting. I mean, out of our entire staff, I mean, we have uh, roughly 16 command members. Almost 50% have been turned over since I started. Wow. Well, it sounds like uh, it's been busy. It's been a busy time. <laughs> and, and one of the things that I'm sure your staff loves, couldn't hurt morale, is, uh, is the new headquarters. Beautiful building now. Absolutely. They love the new police department. It's fantastic. It's really... Uh, it's really um, did exactly what it was designed to do. It's really improved our ability to uh, communicate across divisional lines. It's been a, a fantastic time in the new building. Okay, and, and what do you see as being uh, MPD's biggest challenge maybe next year? The biggest challenge is to ensure that we maintain our community support. I mean, it's been a very trying uh, 12 months for law enforcement mm -hmm. in general with uh, several officers killed in the line of duty, uh, you know, some uh, impacts on the... Uh, the trust in the community with uh, law enforcement in general. We don't seem to have that in our community. We have a fantastic support system in our community. And what the most important thing I see going into the next 12 months is ensuring that we maintain that. Okay, very good. We're gonna take a quick break. Not much more in a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our five on five again. We're here with Chief Randy Sparacino from Medford Police. So, so Chief, uh, you guys, you talked about it before about the community support. It has been a trying year for law enforcement across the country, but why do you think you guys are so supported here? I, I think our valley in general is uh, an area that supports law enforcement. Uh, I just read a Cato Institute study on community support in law enforcement and the natural makeup of the Rogue Valley just demographically lends support. And I think a large uh, extent it's our staff in general, the Metro Police Department trains well, hires well, and we, we do our job well. So I think that lends itself to a great support. I mean, to be, a, to be a good chief in my role, you have to have community support, you have to have the support of your city management, your elected officials, and your staff. And I think we have all of that, and we have that because of the way we train, the way we treat people, our, our core values are such that uh, it lends itself to doing an excellent job. It's been more than a year since you guys started carrying naloxone, this literally life-saving drug. And uh, Dr. Jim Shames, Jackson County Medical Director, was here yesterday. He said you guys, you guys have saved more than a dozen lives this year with naloxone. That's absolutely correct. Naloxone has uh, been a true lifesaver. It, it uh, basically takes a, uh, an overdosing individual and brings them to immediate recovery. Mm. And, and it's not just heroin, right? It's, it's, it's opioids in it's general. Opio okay. Yes, opioids yeah. in general. So. Uh, there is now a move to get naloxone into the hands of individuals that are prescribed opioids for pain uh, relief mm. because the accidental overdoses are a huge factor in our society or the overdoses of people stealing prescription drugs from an individual that is prescribed an opioid. Yeah, it's so good to see that, that naloxone is being more available for everybody in the community, pharmacies, that sort of thing. It's wonderful. Uh, you guys are doing a Christmas program. You, literally, the men and women in blue handing out Christmas toys to Absolutely. Kids. So this year, our Christmas uh, program has adopted 85 children, and it's not exclusively the, the Metro Police Department. We basically run the program, but it's also in conjunction with the employees of the city, the city of Metford. So we have 85 kids that we'll be giving uh, gifts to during the Christmas season. The next couple of days, they'll be actually getting their, their gifts. <laughs> we also uh, got a donation of $1,200 from our police association, which we'll be, be donating to the Family Nurturing Center so that they can buy necessary uh, goods for individuals in need. Very nice. Chief, good to see you. Merry Always Christmas great to and see happy you. holidays. You Thank too. You Thank much. you. Stay with us. We'll be right back.